Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna mount these others, but not like that. All right, new day in the shop. Everyone's back here. We're gonna finish this truck and get it ready to go to the Mount Carmel Car Show, which is coming right up, really. Today's order of business, disc brakes, some steering linkage, and then all the front fender stuff that we need for, to make this look right. So we'll get going. Hopefully I ordered the right parts. It's been a few months ago. We'll see if they're right. Hello, higher. Drum brakes? Wow. This should be a interesting puzzle. I think that gets pressed off of there and that goes on it. I believe that's how it works. Yep, that's how that's gonna work. I figured it out. I don't even need instructions. This old race right here was for roller bearing, kind of round bearings, and these are tapered bearings. So we gotta take that off. That is gonna slide right on in its place, and then our new bearing is gonna go on there. Fit perfect. We're about to have this off. I'm on my last bolt right here, and then backing plate should come off and then we got to get this off of there somehow I guess. Big hand. Torch, plasma cutter, yeah. grinder. I hope I don't have to like mill it down or anything mm. crazy. Oh, that last bolt would be sticky. Get the green persuader. That's how you get that thing off of there. It came right off. I don't know how it goes back together. It all fell apart, Ben. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Trunnions feel pretty good. See all these little, little deals? They hit it with a center punch and it makes a, kind of pushes the metal up. And then you, when you slide that other piece on, it's tight. We'll probably do the same. So you get this off by just hitting it. Persuading. Yeah. Oh. Persuade. Gently. Gently persuade it with yes. a persuader side. Hit that with a hammer. Once the bolts came out, it just fell off. We're getting there. This new collar is about warm enough to go right on. Ooh, I, he victoried it. It's rolling underneath the truck. Hey, this one's the same way. Steak? Yep. Whoops, hot little mama. Where are we? Wow. Did he even move? I was trying to put it on. I heated it up and it, uh, no bueno. Hey, we better get the calipers out and see. Better get the cali pitters. Yeah, it should have slid right on there. We'll measure the other side and see. One inch, 2880. One inch, 2740. That's a lot. But I think those are gonna have to get turned out just barely. Great. Nothing's just easy. Oh, if it's easy, everybody do it. Probably ought to clean those stakes. Clean them off? Yeah, I think we'll grind them. Find something that fits over that just perfect so we can beat that in there good. We'll have our crap ready this time. We'll doing some clearancing. It'll be just purdy any minute. All right, we're trying it. Do you think we're even doing anything? Put your finger in there. I don't think I will, Hunter. Yeah. Go ahead, Hunter. Give it a whirl. No, he he tried to have me grab hold of a burning red bolt the other day. I wouldn't do such things. Oh, I'm sure. There's some smoke coming off of it now. It's, it's gold now. I think that means it's starting to warm up. It's only 300, 327. We're going on. Okay. Grab that hammer. Oh, you're good, dude. All right, right on just like it's supposed to. Now just let her see. Yep, now she'll cool. Let's nice. do the other side. Take these steering stops off. I'll show you the brake 
would run into it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it would run into it. So we're going to take it off and see what it does without it. Not too worried. Oh yeah. That is the new steering stop. I like okay. it. Well, there we go. So I just hitch right there. It's going to be fine. They engineered it properly. Perfect. We've got the right components now. The kit didn't send long enough bolts. I wasn't happy with them. You can see they were just, they weren't into the TEF lock. So we fixed that problem. All right, I'll tighten them up. Tighten that up. Pack some bearings and put it together, right? Yep. You want to wipe a little grease on that seal? There we go. Uh huh. And they were tight. They did fit. I checked it. Before we hit it with a hammer, it fit. Yes. Close. Started on. So obviously I know that you don't want bearings this tight. But I'm using it to make sure that it's seated all the way. And then we'll back it off. Oh yeah, that's seated. Disc brakes on a 42. Not too bad. If the brake caliper goes on and lines up, then we did something right. I think. How did yours go in? Well, we're not done grinding yet. We've got to do some some love on the caliper. Did I get, my little pooch is getting dirt on it. Don't laugh, Hunter. You'll have one one day. You just wait. Get a few kids, a wife that cooks you dinner at night. It just grows. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing that I'm willing to do about it. Let's put it that way. There's That's more. probably safer to say. All right, I'm gonna get a grinder. If you look right here, I just cut a little tab off that wasn't even necessary. So we're disc brake, baby. I'll tighten those up, put a hose on it, bleed them. Cool. Hey you guys, I just wanted to hop on here really fast and let you guys know that these Cornet shirts are on the website now and they're awesome. The material is super soft. So those are on the website. Once they're gone, they're gone. We love these shirts. They are like some of our favorite shirts that we've gotten so far. Get on the website, order them up. And also, this beauty behind me. Oh yeah. Paul, do you want to tell them where this car's going? California to race the lemon trace if I can get it done. Button Willow, California. This weekend, I'm pretty sure that spectators can come watch it. So it's going to be Saturday and Sunday. Fab Rats will be there. So if you guys are near Button Willow, California, come visit us. Come see us. Okay. Yep. Those are the ones. Need two of those. Ben's going to need two of those. More grinding is required. What? Well, if we don't, the brake line's going to have to come off at the top, which maybe it can. It can. Yeah, never mind. No more grinding is required. I totally misspoke. That was a false alarm. You just wanted to grind something. These guys did this proper. I don't know. If you guys want to know, I really have no idea who made this kit. I bought this thing like when we first got this truck home from Oregon and I bought it off eBay. I just looked up disc brake kit for a 42 Chevy and this is the one that popped up and you know it's been actually a pretty good kit. When you're doing this you expect to have some issues but this one hasn't been bad. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. We're gonna be okay Ben. All right. We're going to throw these wheels on and see if they clear the calipers and see if everything fits properly before we get too carried away. Let me grab a impactor. Well, so far, it doesn't hit. Am I messing with you there? No, I'm moving. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I like it. It's going to work. I don't know what size of rubber we're going to run on these things, but 
for now that's what size. Depends on where we take it. Yeah, if we're, if we're Baja on it in the desert, we're probably going to have to put 35s on it. Moab? Moab is going to need 37s. <laughs> Street racing, probably these 205s are fine. Hey! I'm just uh, working my way through here. There seems to be a lot of room, but not where I'm trying to get to. Okay, if you can put that clip back on. Yeah, I don't know how. That's what I'm fighting with here on this one. Did you get it? I didn't get the clip, no. Oh. But I got all the other stuff. I was kind of jealous if you did get it. I haven't even seen my clip yet. I was going to lift it up and look at it. Are you against lifting it? No, go for it. I'm not against it. It's not going to fall off over there, is it? Well, no, we're good. Is the clip in here? Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. It's in that partially boxed frame. <laughs> Got it. Clip is out. What are you doing there? Getting that clip on? Yeah. I got half of it. Does that count? <laughs> hey, I got mine. You got yours? I win. So is there an access for the brake thing underneath the seat or something? I don't know. Figure that out. The seat, we can set it down. We can roll. Where did I put all of those lug nuts? Right there. We can roll it up and bleed it. Well, we can take the seat out of it and maybe the floorboard if we have to, to get to that. Adjust the shifter <coughs> so it goes into park. And then we got to get the throttle cable put in it. <coughs> and all the seats dealt with. What are those this rims? You gotta spend a minute to see if we can find what they are. That throttle cable is going away. The game plan for this, we gotta tear this seat out. We got some cool little buckets to go in it. We gotta get the steering column mounted and the dash put in it. Something this can go away. We don't need that in there. How cool is that? That's our AC. Looks like we're just not quite adjusted to park. How about a 7 16 and a pair of pliers? We'll just fix that now so we don't have a start up and drive into the shop problem. That would be a good idea. Go. One seat. And we'll get some different seats in her. Hey, you got lots of room now. Tons of room. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna mount these others, but not like that. They're gonna have to go back or down. We can lower the back some and tilt the front up. Give you a little better driver angle. And then you'll have some room in here. Get seats and a steering device in here. Hey look, we can get first gear now. Now we're cruising. Reverse! It's hot, turn the AC on. <laughs> that is the new instrument cluster that we have for this truck. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Should look good. This old dash is hammered. We're not gonna throw it away, but we're gonna take it out and uh, replace it. Alright, I got all the bolts. So that's still a pretty good dash. We'll tear it apart and fix it for another project, just not this one. Right there is what this one's gonna look like. It's a little screwdriver action, pull it apart and then it just fits right in there. Yeah, it just goes in from the back. I'm trying to decide what's holding it in. We may have to get crazy and look at the instructions. Don't do it. Don't do it. We may have to. All right, you just watched me put all these gauges in. Now I'm tearing them back out because I spent good money on quality parts that don't fit. So we're gonna try to make them fit. Come here and I'll show you what we got going on. If I put it up in where it's supposed to go, nice, flush, flat, everything, it won't fit in the dash. The bottom edge milled off this so it'll fit in the dash. I love it when you spend money on stuff and someone didn't do their job. Not to mention, there's nowhere to mount it. These are the original mounting tabs. There's none. 
instead of by I thought this would bolt in and be like 29 seconds now we're going to be hours into fixing it awesome all right there's hard deck did you get that what that what movie that come off of top gun come on um round dos dos chiliosimas we're not spanish we can't even Say taco right around here. Come on. We know that. Quito. <laughs> Sorry. I ben, didn't talk Ben got hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> I think things are about to get good for us. We only want to take a little off this side, then we're going to jump to the other side and take some off of that side. So we need safety glasses and ear plugging devices. Pretty cool having the right tools to do the job. All right, one side down, now we do the other side. I'm having a hard time seeing with that helmet on. No, I just want to be cool like you. Oh, like the, you know, the, the head flip. I see. Yeah. Yeah. That's only cool when you're welding. Oh. Okay, we're going to see if it fits. Watch your eyeballs. See that? She fits now. Technically, we can just basically weld a tab right off the back side of it and it bolts down. Grandma brought some mail down to us that she went and got. David hooked us up, right, Land? He did, because the we got that. Seat. That thing's and, pretty cool. And oh, yeah. Thank you, David. We will put these to good use. It is. Looks like we're going to have an RC shootout here before yeah, long. Yeah, this one's four wheel drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. Just don't. You got it in my car? No, he's throwing her off all over it. I'll kick your ass, boy. Oh, oh really? Crap. Ow. This thing is scary fast. Don't hit rocks, how about? <laughs> Let your dad drive it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no good at driving this. Like quarter throttle, I can drive it. <laughs> that thing is super fast. Hi. Um, this makes me nervous when you come down here with the computer. I'm giving Hunter a lesson. Oh, oh great. We're gonna give Hunter a lesson. Well, ah! <laughs> Wasn't me, it's Hunter in trouble. I didn't do it. Oh great. This is an old video, so I better, I bet it's better. I better turn it off so you guys don't see the dark side of Michelle. And so the boss like came to the shop and we gotta start it for her so she approves. I haven't heard it, but I feel like I should uh in park. have earplugs. Oh no, it's not loud, it's, it's not got exhaust. Loud. It's, it's got exhaust. Oh, this isn't like a derby car. No, it is. Okay, there's not. Wiggle no. that start or that. Wiggle it that just shift. a is little that bit. Little thing on down there. My steering is leaking all over here. Oh, we don't have lines. Is that your? No, I got lines on. It's just. You're thing. smoking too. Is that normal? Perfectly normal. Yes, there's no feeling. You can like. Is this your boost or what is that? How much were you pushing? 12 pounds of boost. Are you serious? So Most how fast that's a lot. Here on the run, yeah. you're four to six. Eight is high, and this is 12. We're running 12 pounds of boost. So what does that mean? That, that means, means burnouts for days, <laughs> is what that means. Okay, well, I guess I'll go back up and edit. Okay. What like about I do. dinner? Did you not just eat like an hour ago? I'm just preparing you for it later. We're gonna have a uh, shepherd's pie is it what we're gonna delicious. have tonight. That crap is nasty. Are you kidding? Oh, dry <laughs> pie? That is an old person's food. No. Right <laughs> no, it's when you have like dentures. Let me tell yeah. you a story. My, no. Is my shepherd's pie good though? It's good, I like it. One time I made the mistake and mentioned to my wife that 
Oh, that's it not was on the ground. a little bit dry. And it was shepherd's pie. I've learned you don't ever say that. Ever. Ever. You just hear what? Ever. Like if something's not very good, she at least made it. So she just... she had worked a full day too, and I mentioned that. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. So, after like four hours of work, this factory dash that I ordered finally fits and works. So. I'm pretty satisfied with it now. I'd have been happier if it would have fit after I paid for it and didn't have to work on it, but it's my lot in life. Buy stuff that doesn't fit and make it fit. What if we just take some angle iron and put it inside of here? Make a little channel for it. Well, I think if you just take angle iron and run it from, from front to back, and then we'll just build something that goes across it that'll bolt to the angle iron. Yeah, because it just has to be lined up. Yeah, if you made an angle from front to back out of some of that two inch angle, and then we could do something that crossed it, a piece of square tube with a bolt. And we might not even need to really, depending on how it tightens up. Yeah. yeah. And then we can adjust it by longer bolts to tilt our what feels good to us. I think you want the front tipped up so that you're not trying to fall out of your chair. I think you want the front tipped up some. And honestly, that angle looks pretty good. With I, don't, what's... I don't think you're gonna have to worry about sliding out of your chair. Probably not, it'll probably keep I you I think back this thing's gonna be wedged back in and... Yeah. <laughs> probably so. Yep, that's what I'll do. What do you think? Somewhere in that area? I like it. It's really not bad feeling right there. I'm gonna make that work. And then we'll do the whole trilogy out there trying to this to get to the steering <laughs> box. So is this even the right window? That one lines up. Right there and right there. Yep. Hold that a second. Let me get a screwdriver. Okay, go. We're definitely missing the gasket. Yeah. Okay, I got the window. Got it. No gasket. Yeah, apparently we still need some parts for this truck. But the only way to know what you really need is to put it together and find out what you're Let's missing put still. Put it together and see. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that doesn't look right. Like it's not even close. It's right or wrong. Hmm. We'll add that to the list of stuff. We're gonna run up and take a peek at our donor truck and see all the parts and pieces that it has that we need. So hopefully it's got everything. Better. See how many D's we're gonna have, Vic? So this truck was going to be my my donor for the rollback but it's pretty rough I'm gonna find a cleaner one for the rollback and these parts are going on my my hot rod oh yeah so we got windows that's plastic but we have the right window oh there's bees in that one oh yeah see them surface oh yeah don't don't make them mad Look at that little nest right there in the seat. Oh, nice. I didn't see that. Good thing it didn't jump in there. There's a back window. There is a back window. Oh, there is a back there window. There is a back window. Perfect. So we're, we're collecting parts. Perfect. So yeah. Well, another day we'll come up and get this stuff and bring her home. How'd you come by this truck? I bought this from JD. Oh, so, okay. yep. He wouldn't sell me the cool one over there. Let's go look at it. This is the one that I really want to build my rollback out of. Oh yeah, look at this. Check the inside of this bad dog out. Oh wow. Yeah. That is pretty clean. Yep. I want to own this. He's told me no like 30 times, but maybe, only, 30, only maybe 30? 31 <laughs> is the ticket and I own it. Okay, we got a piece of exhaust tubing. It's the right size to fit over our steering column. 
So it's pretty snug, but it fits. It'll go over it. So the game plan is I'm gonna cut this directly in half. I'll cut it in half on this side, in half on that side, make two brackets so it bolts back together. Weld one half of it inside, and then the other half, I'll drill a hole through and pin that. Show you how it's all gonna work right now. You're an artist. That's mostly in half. We'll cut that and then start welding. Clean those up, weld some tabs on them. Did you lose your Mount Dew at one time? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Hand plan. Oh, there it is. That was a lunch. I was going to take it with me to lunch. So that's the idea right there. I got to grind some off. You can see it's still loose. Just a little bit and then I'll clamp it. I'll take it off of that side because it's a hair bigger. I'll do that and be back. Perfect. Now we just got to take and weld some tabs on the side of here so we can bolt it together. We're making a frame for these seats. Come on in. Just like so. So we can have it wherever we want here. So I'm just gonna take and weld these brackets in here. We'll make us a little frame. Then we can actually sit on something. It'd be nice. Alright. Now it's just a matter of setting this thing up, welding one onto each side of that, putting a bolt in it. I don't know how to hold it the best way to weld this together. I think that's what we're gonna do, but Ben's using the welder, so when he's done, we'll do it. Doesn't look square. No, it doesn't. I'm just, I know. just throwing that out there. I appreciate that. Where's your tape? How far down are they? Two and three quarters is the center of your hole. So you did this side over here, right? Okay, we got some braces down here. We just gotta drill holes, which right there, we'll drill them in. Then we'll weld this frame to it. Seat done, on to the next item. All right, Hunter went home, but I got Jace. Jace is here helping. So we're just figuring this out. We're, uh, we're about to have a steering column mounted. I like it. I think it's time to weld it in. There it is. That seat's in there, man. It's coming together. It's starting to look good in there. That's going to be pretty okay. I'll be able to drive that. You might bust your elbow occasionally on a seat. Oh, yeah. When you're doing some fast, gnarly stuff. Oh yeah, you may bust an elbow on it, but it'll be worth it. If we tilt it clear up, you won't, like bus style. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice chrome. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I'm digging it. That turned out pretty good. We got another clamp on the steering wheel, or on the steering column, and then the linkage on out, I think. And then we can start putting the dat or putting the floor all back in. Oh no, brakes, master cylinder. Oh, yeah. The holdup of the day, our master cylinder is bad. Not getting any fluid to the front brakes, so. It'll probably be next week before all that pans out. I just want to remind you guys that now is the time to put in to win the Coronet car. Till October 20th, if you guys want a chance to win a 1965 Dodge Coronet, now is the time. It is amazing and it's super fun to ride in and I love it. And we cannot wait for one of you guys to win it. There's no purchase necessary if you don't want to, but if you want extra entries, Every $25 spent online at thefabrats.com or in the Rat Shack gets you another entry in to win the car. Paul, Ben, and the rest of the Fab Rats team have been working so hard to get this car up to par for you guys. And I think whoever ends up with it is going to absolutely love it. And we can't wait to see who it is.